Biden brings Africa in blackface lying predators. U.S. Africa Command General Michael Langley in blackface promoted the lies of the diminishing American empire as he spoke during the United States Senate Armed Service Committee meeting. Just as in blackface, U.S. Deputy Ambassador to the United Nations David Wood held up his hand in the only vote against a Palestinian state. Langley stated, Chinese and Russian companies have used predatory tactics to entangle African states in debt and extractive contracts that leave local populations in the lurch. America offers an alternative. U.S. diplomatic development and defense support does not hold their people and natural resources hostage. So we do not impose a moral balancing act on our partners. Instead of demanding financial and political concessions, we demand accountability on the fundamentals, respect for human rights, and the rule of law. Well, if that was true, the first thing that you would do is pay restitution, reparations, for the hundreds of years that you have enslaved the people of Africa. What has left African states in a lurch since the 1884 Berlin Conference on dividing up Africa and economically picking it apart is the United States and its European mothers. It was and remains the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund that has practiced predatory tactics concerning Africa's resources.